Welcome to the Supply Drop Design Tool. This is where you build your supply pod. In the center, you'll see a diagram of your pod. You can select different design options from the menu on the left. Only the shell material is required to run your test, but there are other features you can add. Selected features appear on the diagram of your supply pod and are labeled to the right. Below your design diagram, there is a readout which shows how each of your choices affects the mass and cost of the pod. You have selected a shell, but let's try adding more to your design. First, let's add some padding for your cargo. You can add different percentages of materials, all the way up to 100%, but you can use less if you like. The bar at the top of the menu shows how much space you have left for padding, and the amount of padding will show up in your diagram. Notice how different materials change the mass and cost. Next, you can choose whether you want to include any add-ons for the top of the supply pod. These include flaps or parachutes. And finally, you can choose whether you want to include add-ons for the bottom, such as foam blocks, springs, or trestles. For now, you won't add any of these. There's also a help button to give you more information about the design tool. Once you are satisfied with your design, you can test it by selecting the test button. Here you see the test results with the diagram of the pod showing the expected condition of your pod. You can see a visual of the padding materials, any add-ons we used, and an indication of the amount of damage to the shell and cargo. Here you can see design details and test results that give you important data about how your pod performed. You should keep track of each design's impact force, total mass, and the velocity it was traveling when it hit the ground to help with your design decisions. You will need to record each design's shell condition, final cost, and percentage of cargo damage. There is a help button at the top right which will highlight all the data you need to record from this screen. At the bottom right is an option to edit your design. This is important because the more testing you do, the better your design will become. Back in Build, you can make changes to improve your design. If you want to clear all the choices and start over, select the Reset button. Be sure to ask your internship coordinator if you have any other questions. Happy testing!